It's a very tough subject to tackle, but unfortunately, a very stark reality for countless Americans. Right now in our country, some 5.7 million Americans suffer from Alzheimer's disease. It's a baffling, frustrating condition. So how do you cope? Well, over the course of the next three weeks, we are going to take a look at families who are answering that very question. And there are some bright moments bordering on miraculous. This morning, we take a look at a man who can still count on a higher power. There are good days and bad here at Luvita Memory Care. More often than not, Alzheimer's and dementia robs these residents of more of their memories by the day. This is not the man that I grew up with. But this story is about the moments even the most powerful of diseases can never touch. If you don't have something to anchor you while you're going through this, because this is rough. Chris Green is a man of faith. At the end of the day, my trust is in God, and he's not going to give me all the answers. It's in his genes. Uh, when he wasn't on the mission field, he was a pastor. But his dad's days as a pastor and as a missionary are behind him now. Alzheimer's has taken most of his memories. It's, it's pretty full blown. But on Saturday mornings during Bible studies, the pastor who forgets more than he remembers gets up to preach. I've learned that with God, there is no getting evil. Um, even in the midst of, of the Alzheimer's and all that it does to you, he still has that deep love for God's word and, and for sharing it. Uh, we don't have a single cause or we don't So know. much about the disease remains unknown, but what doctors do know is that our most powerful memories are a part of us that even Alzheimer's has a hard time taking. Memories that are attached to emotional memory or to very significant events in your life tend to be coded or stored in a way in which they are easier to recall. Um, that means as someone with dementia, as they have less and less cognitive abilities, memories that are stored more solidly or with a lot of emotion attached to them means that our ability to recall those memories are, are definitely stronger. And for a couple minutes on a Saturday, Pastor Jim speaks the word of God, God as clear as day. None of us equal to God. It's a lesson in faith that his son needs now more than ever. The faith that we learn from him is what is sustaining us now as he goes through this. Because even when the memories begin to fade and thoughts are harder to come by, there are some things that time nor disease can ever touch. Whatever, whatever anchors you, uh, you got to hang on to that. And I'm, I'm very fortunate that I've, I was given a faith that is a very, very strong anchor in my life, that that came from my dad and my mom. And, uh, that's important if you're going to get through this. And Dr. Alan Stevens, who you heard from there in that story, will be hosting a walk with a doc this Saturday to talk with people on coping mechanisms and ways they can deal with this disease. We'll have all that information on our website, KCNTV.com. And we want to take this moment, Heidi, to uh, promote um, our mm -hmm. uh, personal connection yep. to this cause because we are um, hosting um, the Alzheimer's Walk again this year, and we will mm -hmm. have a team that we want people to get on board with. So if you want to walk with Heidi and I, We'll have the details on how you can get involved with us on September 7th. Yep. So we're very excited for this. This is something that we work all year round for. Uh, we'll have those details on our website as well. Yeah, and uh, go to our Facebook page as well. I'm even drinking from my Alzheimer's Association Capital of Texas Chapter mug this morning. So yeah, it is, it's a cause that we are behind and it's something that we've done every single year here. Uh, you even have their bracelet on. So I've got I mean, my bracelet on. Yeah. You, you and I are on the board and it's something that's very, uh, it's close to home to us. Mm -hmm. So we want to get you guys involved at home yeah. so that we'll do, to find find out how you can do that, we'll have details on our website, kcntv.com, and I want to thank all the people who are doing such great work at Luvita Memory Care uh, for their help in telling this incredible story. Great story.